Stay tuned until the end of the video where we tease an upcoming episode where we find, we discover one of the largest, most insane, obscure honey holes in retro gaming history ever, anywhere. Uh, these, so these are legitimately sealed? Everything's factory sealed. On this addictive episode of the NES Pursuit. I've been looking for this game for a long time. The Goofy Gang makes way to a local love of theirs, the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, in Southern, 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 Southern California. Riff makes a deal with Gabo, only to break it when the fire gets hot. Well, we was talking about, yeah, yeah, let's be brothers. Ricky's addiction gets out of hand. Should the boys help him, or let him go off the rails? I need an ATM, I need more. I was like, oh my god. When it comes to Mikey, I gotta have my pops. Yes, baby girl, I got you. Grab your Dixie cups and get ready for complex hugs, extreme brown town, dueling street oh, yeah. fighters, and middle-aged men who will make you question your sanity. This is the NES Pursuit. Episode 101, it almost feels like a new refresh button has been set here on the channel going forward. What's gonna happen now, 100 episodes in. So the day finally came, I'm so excited, I've been counting down the days to this expo because it's gonna be phenomenal, it's gonna be awesome. So, so called expo. I don't know if I ever told you that I love this expo. Yes, the whole crew is here. And it's gonna be an awesome day because I'm gonna get lots of stuff. I got a feeling this is gonna be awesome. And what better way to start it than by jumping in with the entire squad. We got everybody here and it's episode 100. There's one person on the show to this day, Ricky, that I literally sometimes think like, why do we have him on? There's a reason I'm half smiling too because like there's like half truth to jokes. I don't even know, we're like in some kind of like a warped parking zone. They do everything at this place. Look, this guy breaking in right there, he broke into that car just to come in. I hope he breaks, gets my car next. I'm waiting to meet all my friends and everybody, so let's do it! That was so stupid, right? How are you? Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? That's from Bible Goes West. I guess this is day 3,576 of my addiction. We went into Tony's booth, and uh, so I came here because he had a $2 bin. But when I was going through the $2 bin, some turbo games as well, so I had to do that. Then I saw all these Nintendo games. I mean, Nintendo magazines or not third parties, whatever they are. So I picked those up too. When he said $2 in the box, I just started going crazy. I started pulling what? stuff everywhere. That was scary, I know. That was a little scary. All right, so what, what do you like right here? You don't want this? Yeah. I even started grabbing some of these turbo graphics games he had, and uh, I bundled everything up. That's some good times. I'm gonna bundle it all up. For how much? 55 bucks. 55 bucks. What's it like to have an addiction and not be able to recognize it? <laughs> I have no idea because I don't want to recognize it. It's, it's not an addiction. Oh. Dang, dude. I thought we were friends. But it's fun though, huh? It's fun. <laughs> Deny it! As I'm paying him, he's like, it's fun. <laughs> oh my 
my crap in your teeth! <laughs> Yo, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> been talking like, hey, we both have a lot of Sega Master System games, but funny enough, neither of us have a Sega Master System anymore. All right, so something most people don't know is with my Master System collecting, I haven't bought an actual Master System yet. Me and Rifo, we have a plan, and we was like, you know, like brothers, like, oh, dude, let's buy a Sega Master. Yeah, we are into Sega Master now. So we're like, let's go and kind of as brothers, find a Sega Master System together. That went out of the window really quick because we were walking and Gabo was ahead and Ricky's like, hey, hey, Rip, there's a Sega Master System right there. Gabo's been trying to get one too and I just found one for 30 bucks included with the game. That's a good deal. I walk over to this guy and this Sega Master System looks nice. It has the light phaser. It has all the plugs to make it work. It has Shinobi with it and we're like, how much? And the guy seemed like he was kind of like, like uh, kind of frazzled with everything going on. He was just setting up. He's like, I don't know, 30 bucks. Right. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess I'll just buy this for 30 bucks that this guy just said. What? Oh, okay. How much? 30. The first thing he bought, it was the Sega Master. I was like, I'm be honest, I was jealous and pissed off. And it comes with, how do you pronounce the game? Shinobi. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Shinobi. For 30 bucks is a really good deal. If you go to a retail store and pick up a Sega Master System right now, it's like 60, 70 bucks with nothing extra. Just that. Wow. Wow, bro. Complete. Definitely he caught me sleeping. So I got it, I picked it up, and now finally I have the console as well. We was talking about... Oh, I the, told the camera, I was whispering like, Gabo's gonna be so mad right now. Nah. Well, I don't know if I ever told you that I want the master system too. And Gabo, again, I looked over and I could see it in his little, did I ever told you eyes. And he's just like, oh, did I ever told you I wanted that too. Well, we was talking about, yeah, yeah, let's be brothers. Let's let's grab a Sega Master together. <laughs> together. And I said, it is what it is, sucker. When well, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> Eyes are watering. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Is it still as good as it used to? Thank you. You've been working the glue? I always work. And I think about you when I do it. Obey your master! Master! What's up, man? I'm here! Ah! Little salt, chow, chow, bulls. All right, so I've been waiting for these two pops for like the past two months, which is a Jiren and a Todoroki. Two of my favorite shows right there, My Hero Academia and Dragon Ball. So it's finally happening. The main thing I was trying to do is get the two pops. So luckily, you know, we got invited to the event. We were able to come in early. Like, how many can we get? Okay. You can get two of each. All right, so let me get two Jirens. Okay. And let me get two Todorokis. Okay. And um, finally, I was the fourth one in line. And I was able to get my baby Jiren and Todoroki. If you don't know who they are, go look them up, please. They're awesome kids. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> two, two, and 40. That is 140. Okay, good, because I'm horrible on that. Another thing I also had to get was some pops for my girlfriend because my girlfriend's the one that got me into pops and now her collection's like at 20 something now so she told me Mikey can you give me a Sailor Moon pop please and I was like yes baby girl I got you okay so 140 Ooh. that's exactly how it went but don't ask her <laughs> <laughs> there's so much brown on this show <laughs> about the guy that played Jar Jar. This guy legitimately, I watched the video, almost cried. This guy, the guy that played Jar Jar legitimately almost killed himself because the mean people on the internet. So you guys are all mean. Dude, where the hell did you get this? I'm going. Probably Just Puerto Rico. Yeah. Illegally, <laughs> illegally <laughs> smuggled over. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's fully licensed. We head over to another booth and I'm talking to this guy. He actually watches the show and all of a sudden I see 
the Super Mario Dixie Cups. But not just a couple of the cups. This is the box. This is in 1989 when Nintendo was at a craze where Nintendo was making every different type of Nintendo product you could think of. They were like, hey, if it's available, let's slap Mario on there and let's sell it. Super Mario, Super Mario. When they say knickknacks and collectibles, I think this is what they're describing. Look at this, bro. What? Come closer. Super Mario Bros. Dixie, the five ounce kitchen cups. Oh, look at this, bro. Beautiful. Collect all 12 cups. And this little set comes with 100 cups. There's 12 different designs. And these cups look amazing. They're the perfect style of Mario. And this is pretty darn cool, man. This is the kind of stuff I love. That I love. And whenever I see these things, my nostalgia trigger goes wild. My brain starts remembering all these times that I had as a kid, seeing these little animations of Mario and these little drawings of Mario on all all the products at the local store. Ricky, Ricky's gonna be jealous of these for sure. Ricky's gonna be like, yo dude, those are super cool. Where, where were you? I was I was looking for you guys. We haven't found Ricky this whole time. He has a, a real addiction, and he honestly has a real problem. He needs to get help. Oh, I thought he was gonna give it to you. I thought he was gonna say something, bro. I got a little scared. Gabo's coming up from behind me. Look who showed up. Oh, that's cool. Look what I got, Ricky. Would you like a cup? It's in my brain, I'm like, I'll pay like 30 bucks for this because it has nearly every single cup in there, and the cups are mint. Ooh. Oh, that is so cool. Can I see it? It's Doug Bowser. Riff found this box of Nintendo little cups, like the vintage ones. He beat me to it, but you know what? I gotta give the guy mad respect because that's a pretty cool pickup. And the guy goes for 15 bucks. <laughs> These are $15. I know I made fun of Gabo a few minutes ago. I'm sorry because I had to borrow money from him. Gabo loaned me $15. He is still Gabo the Giver into episode 101 and beyond. <laughs> Woohoo! Gabo is here, baby. Gabo's here. Dude, that's 630. Just like the guy doing it. <laughs> Ow! What do we smell? Ricky. Oh, Xbox. Uh, oh, Xbox. Xbox. Same smell, same smell. Wow. No, smell. Xbox is better. All right, get in there. And thanks to the great Ricky, he told me, hey, hey, dude, did you see the OG Xbox sign, the beat one? Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Look at the sign. I didn't see that, so when I see it, uh... What do you think for 40 bucks, Complex? Yes. We'll give you 50. Absolutely. Oh. Ricky said 50. Uh-oh. No, he didn't. Okay, <laughs> son of a gun. The you guy bucks. only asked me 40 bucks, so you know, I'm going to take that. Bye. 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 Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> Sweet, man. All right, let me do this. I don't know why Ricky's giving giving me that look. Now he's part of the squad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all the white people on the show? <laughs> oh my god, oops. And you know what? The next thing I know, he's like, dude, check out this clock on that same booth. All right. So same booth where Gabo just got this Xbox sign. There's Riff showed me this. A Sonic the Hedgehog clock. I first played it off like I didn't want it because I'm like, he's probably gonna get it, so I'm just gonna, you know, lay low. I'm like, alright, cool. He's like, no, I'm not gonna get it. I pick it up, I'm like, dude, of course I'm gonna get this. I asked the guy how much, he's like, 15 bucks. I'm like, yeah, of course, completing box. A control, these are just boxes, with the control pad box. Six button arcade one, and he had a bin full of just boxes, con control boxes. I grabbed a couple Sega ones, I bundled it all up, pretty much got everything for, he said he'd throw this in for free. And all for 20 bucks, which is a good deal, good steal. Not a steal, it's not a steal, it's, it's it's a good deal. I was very happy. Okay. So what's it like to have your addiction and not recognize it? <laughs> you know that's not the first time I've heard that.
have this homer either. You don't have I don't have this homer. It's a bendy homer. Look, he's rapping. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, this is sick. Thank you so much. In first place. I don't know if I ever told you. He has hard skin. Watch out for the lightning and the blue shells. <laughs> Next pickup, I got it at Syfix booth. Uh, he's one of our long time, long time, long time, long time, long time followers. Cool guy. Unfortunately, it's coming. Is it still here? Of course, I'm not gonna sell it. He's got something I've been looking it. for for a long time. For you, it's always a celebrity discount too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even a celebrity, still give me. But he knew, For I've had this Turbo CD for a long time. For some reason, I could never find the Turbo CD card. A Turbo CD card for my Turbo you CD. Finally get, get your system running, finally. He, he finally found one and I'm like, dude, how much? How much? He's like 20 bucks for you. I was like, yes. True. Fun fact, he fixed my well, Turbo right. CD. I repaired yours. I repaired he repaired yours. my Turbo CD. Right. I couldn't say no. I was like, all right, I'll take it. And the best thing is, celebrity discount. Even though I'm not a celebrity. What's it like, Ricky, to have an addiction and not be able to recognize it? It's wonderful. It's that fine line of knowing if I'm joking with Ricky or if I'm trying to help out a friend. He buys a lot. Maybe once I find, once I recognize it, it'll shatter me to the core. It'll be too late by then. I think I need to call. I'd be doing him a favor. And you know, he'd hate me now and he'd have to get you know, a little intervention, but he'd thank me later. I know what it's like, Ricky. I struggled with things in my life too before, bro, I got you. How much for this? But before I ask, Brown power. <laughs> How much? I, I try to play it off like there's not, but there is a brown discount. What? Brown people, give me the camp. Oh my god, you are this grace of the brown people. Where's all the white people on the show? So, I don't know if I ever told you that I've been collecting Sega Saturn lately, and Sega CD2, and Sega 32X. I've been looking for this game for a long time. They caught me sleeping in Portland. Uh, I'm looking for Die Hard, GPK, yay, mother. My friend, limit run games. If I use the brown card, how much for this one? Using, using the brown card, I miss the opportunity in Portland. I see in the Portland Expo, and me just being me, I didn't bought it. 100 bucks. It was marked 120 bucks, and you know, I have to use the brown card. It is what it is. I think I'm gonna do it. Nice. La raza. La raza. So I get for 100, pretty good price. So, oh man, brown people. Into the night. No, 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 no. From the sky. Boom, that man. Boom. No one should fly when he goes to the sky. It's not fair. It's already guile over there. So this, this match Fight. doesn't count. Oh! As I always say, I've beaten him many times and he no, always no, no, says, no, 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 no. No. now we got proof. It's on no. camera. That's not my guy. Look at the difference now. Let's do it. Nope. Hey, see you guys later. No! came up to us and they must be fans of the show and they said they are because they brought to us to gift. Yeah, we went like Famicom hunting, we got our Famicom over there, bought a whole bunch of games oh. there. And we found this. A Super Famicom box. They just came from Japan and bought a bunch of stuff and it's the hard shells. I have the Yoshi's Island one. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I like how we're all like, who's going to be the jerk and take it through? <laughs> Me. I got it. <laughs> this is a Super Mario one and it's beautiful. So thank you guys. We appreciate it. So much love has been shown today. 
We appreciate it. That is amazing. I have the Yoshi's Island one. So this is gonna be a beautiful addition. You know what else appreciates it? My heart nipples. Yeah, I need definitely. It. I need it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for watching too. That's like oh, awesome. Yeah, the biggest. We <laughs> my wife's gonna leave me. My nipples look like nothing. <laughs> oh, did you just fart? <laughs> Oops. So we're, we're walking and uh, one of our buddies, Jay, stops us. He has these boxes and a backpack and we're like, hey, what's up, dude? Here you go, my friend. Gives us each a box, box, and bag. All right, thank you. Hello, my friend. Yes, thank you, bro. Halo box. Amazing stuff inside. Honestly, like, the guy will brought it as an example. This, Look at this, I can't believe how much stuff he gave us. It was honestly the coolest. First of all, my kid and I are obsessed with all these different colors of these Switch controllers. We don't have this one, so thank you. I appreciate it, man. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Gay. You're awesome, bro. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Dude. He's the man. He already got me a bunch of figures last time. Look at this. Oh my god. But honestly, bro, that was... Thank you so much for that. That was Thanks, pretty Jay. cool. Wow. It's the stuff we love, man. Like, Ricky and I, and Adam Gabo, too. We love all the knickknacks. Oh, and a bunch of different... Yes. Oh. Yeah. From me, too. From Revo, too. Yeah, yeah. Riff. Me, too, me, too, me, too. I don't know if I ever told you. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick this up for 40. Nicole's gonna kill me, but it's cool. Because this is worth it. Do you have a problem? I don't know. I mean, I, maybe I don't see it. Do you think I have a problem? I feel better every day. The troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the silence of my room I'll sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me in my dreams This is Ricky's stuff, he has a problem! Ricky has a real addiction, he won't acknowledge it I think he should keep going just keep buying more, bro. Don't let these guys stop you, bro. He's one of those guys, he looks like a homeless guy who chose video games over family and this is him years later. It is what it is. <laughs> Next time on the NES Pursuit. But we go in and holy crap. You don't want to miss this episode as we unearth, we discover what may go down in retro gaming history as one of the biggest finds anywhere ever. We guarantee it. I couldn't believe when I walked in. It was just aisles, aisles, Target Superstore size, aisles of retro games in the box, sealed. Episode 101, it was a blast, man. I am nothing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Mikey, let it out. <laughs> Thank you to the people that put it on and brought us out here. We love you and we love the community of SoCal. Bring it in, guys. Bring it in. No, I said in. Mangus, <laughs> mangus. I got me dizzy. <laughs> I was like really forcing it. I love this expo. Their people are super nice. I'm talking in the camera right now. Who's mm -hmm. the king of interrupting? <laughs> yeah. I'm God. <laughs> I'm God Interruptor. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He almost got this, but uh, you know, hey, the dollars beat him. He, he was faster than me, so <laughs> I gotta give the man respect. Well, you're acting like I don't. I don't know how to use my words. You know who you are. You are not going to record that. I'm right? recording right now. <laughs> like my fans right now. I'm broke. 
Oh my god. Look at the beard. He didn't have this beard before. Oh. It's like, so, go to episode 85 or well, whatever well, it is. I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know how to make you happy, bro. Come on. There you go. Oh, oh wait! Oh. Riff and I decided we were gonna stop him and say no every single time he started doing his quotes or he started singing. I don't know if I ever told you that I'm multi console. <laughs> oh my god, you judge the state of bounce people. I don't know. Along with me in the bottom one. Well, you just being you. Hopefully I get one. <laughs> Whatever. Easy. Get out of here! A little bit, a little bit, uh, like a higher pitch, higher pitch. I want to Oh god! Oh yeah! Now I'm kind of in. Oh yeah! I don't know if I ever told you. Gabo sounds like the the brown Jar Jar Binks. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh my god! The brown Jar Jar Binks. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Xbox. You you did probably like 14 times in the last month. Nah. Coolest. Coolest. February. February. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One away. One away. Beetlejuice. 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 And then you can turn into Gabo. I got the power. You're just white. <laughs> Vegeta, where are you? Oh, did you get it? No. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm over it. I just gotta watch my back. You never know when Gabo's like gonna be around here. Gabo is still the giver. He's my giver because he gives it to me all the time. <laughs> my girl got me this shirt, by the Whoa. So the day finally comes. Come? Came. God. Started over. So the <laughs> Nice! <laughs> nice! No way! I think it zoomed in. It was zoomed in. I, I, I don't know what that was. I don't know. You came from nowhere. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me turn around. Woo! <laughs> it is what it could be. <laughs> I, just, I can't even say it is what it is. Yo, that's your hair. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you. Let me smell it. Mountain Dew. It's empty. <laughs> it's empty anyway. Gabo really likes to touch men a lot. If you notice the show. I can make you legal. I'm more legal than you. It is what it what could be. <laughs> what did I do? Donkey Kong one. Oh! It's not for selling. That's for you. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I'll buy it off you. No, shut I'll, up. I'll give you all the cash out of my pocket. Southern, 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 Southern California? Is that where we're at? Or Southern California? Southern like, California. Southern California! Okay! 